going to tell you all about better education in China. Yeah. 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 Maybe sometimes I need her translation. Oh, perfect. That's fine, yeah? Uh, so, uh, I, uh, as I say, I have heard a better, a better yeah. education in China, so yeah. uh, I want to ask, uh, what, what do you think uh, uh, finance, edu finance education uh, should, should teach children? Uh, what should the children learn from finance education? Sure. Uh, children should learn about themselves, around, about their ethics and morality, and uh, about the way that money interacts with their lives and their future. Uh, they should learn about saving. They should learn about how to use money, being a smart consumer. They should learn how to make a budget and think about the future. And they should also be a little bit entrepreneurial, so they should think a little bit about business as well. Uh, yeah. So, uh, can you give me some details about uh, your curriculum system of finance education? Sure. Uh, what curriculum do you develop for the children? Sure. So, we work with, we develop curriculum content for children aged 3 to 18. Yeah. Uh, and we develop it w along with the people who implement it. Uh, and we are what's called a social franchise. So we develop it uh, as Afrotune and then we partner with organizations around the world who implement it in their own countries. So Be Better from China is a great example of a partner that reaches about 700,000 children and young people in China with all of its different interventions. And they do that by taking our content and making it appropriate for the Chinese content context. Because uh, Amsterdam, where I am from, is different than Doha here. That is different than Beijing. That yeah. is also different from no, some no, of the please. rural areas in China as well. I to so uh, I, I have seen in the website your curriculum is uh, used in 109 countries. Yes, exactly. Uh, so. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, do you know some difference between the countries uh, at the curriculum used in their school? Sure, uh, there are lots of differences and a lot of it has to do with culture. The way that you think and talk about money or maybe think about and talk about money with your parents or with your friends is different everywhere. So um, it has to adapt to that. The other thing is values are different and how you spend money and what you consider valuable is different. So in each curriculum you have to, in each country, you have to adapt a little bit. In some places everybody saves too much. In other people places everybody spends too much. In some places it is okay to talk about your money and tell your, somebody else your salary. In other countries nobody would ever talk about uh, income or other things. So it always has to be adapted and it always has to fit the needs of the culture and the children. Uh, so the adaptation is uh, by the, your partner, partner in every country. The partner so in every country uh, adapts you, it. You provide the um, yeah. same, same curriculum. Yes, exactly. And then they take it, they translate it, and they adapt it, right? Why, why, uh, why, why your curriculum can spread into so many countries? How do you think of this? Because I think there is a real need. I think around the world people realize that young people are more exposed to money at a younger age. They might want a cell phone, they might have ads on, uh, on TV or on the internet. Um, they see their parents using money, they see their parents fighting about money, so there are all sorts of different instances where finance and money interacts with their lives. And I think it's important to make sure that the first experiences that young people have with money are very positive and that they are, look at these problems and look at these questions uh, with an education as opposed to without any education. I heard from uh, better education that when they uh, implement, when they uh, put this curriculum in into school, uh, the one of the biggest challenges is that uh, the teachers they they can't handle the yep. curriculum. So, uh, yeah. do you provide some help for the sure. teachers? Yeah, and I think we provide a lot of training for teachers training. because 
oftentimes we as adults still make lots of financial mistakes and don't know everything about finance because it's complicated. So when you ask somebody who does not have the confidence themselves with their money to teach somebody else, they feel uh, bad. So we provide lots of teacher training to make sure that they know what the topic is, they know the basic principles, and they feel comfortable. And Be Better has done a very good job of training its teachers and retraining its teachers. Afton is an international international company, and the curriculum is uh, spread in to many countries. So, uh, what, what do you think? Uh,就是我想问，呃，全，因为阿富汗是一个全球化的国家，呃，全球化的公司，然后它的课程也是全球化的。那就是它的全球化，呃，怎么说？怎么看待这个全球化的好处和坏处？它有没有一些坏处？
uh, and to be aware of what it means to you and your family to make a financial decision. So that's why we mix the social, so that people have an ethical underpinning to their money decisions. Uh, how many years do, 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 uh, do, do, the, uh, do this curriculum? Yeah. Uh, how many years uh, so we have, since the yeah. curriculum developed? Uh, it's been 11 years now. Uh, so, uh, uh, is there something different uh, since uh, uh, yeah. now and 11 years ago? Yeah, so it's much better because when you're young, you try things new and we've had many years of experience to improve our curriculum. With the WISE Accelerator, we are looking at digitizing our curriculum and providing it to the 70,000 teachers that we work with as both paper but also with digital. Because now in many schools you have uh, teachers with smartphones or tablets or smart boards and we hope that young people will be able to gain multimedia education on top of the normal education that we provide. So the WISE Accelerator is moving us from it being a normal program on paper to it being something that's available to all teachers online. Uh, so the, mo uh, the, the trend is mostly the technology, brought by the well, technology. The curriculum is better, but also there are things that you can do with technology that you cannot do with paper. So adding video, adding other resources for teachers so that they have different options. Uh, providing them with extra instructional support so if they have a question they know where to look. So that is our goal with the WISE Accelerator is to make sure that our program gives the teacher all the resources they need to make the best possible education experience. Uh, so how do, you, uh, how do you assess the, the, the result of the, of the children's outcome? Sure. So in China, we did um, what's called a randomized control trial, which is a very big study. But in basic, we want to see, do children know more about themselves? Do people know, children know more about their money? Do they behave differently? Do they think differently and act differently when they have money? So we do just very basic tests at the beginning of the program at the end, and we've seen very positive outcomes. Also, uh, through tests? Yeah, through tests. Tests are one way, right? But the best way to see the impact of the program is to actually talk to the young people and see that they have become more confident in their lives and they have greater awareness of what they are doing. Okay. I think uh, my question is over. Perfect. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect.